We're announcing our Rugby Sevens team for uh, Team Scotland for the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. What a great day, sun shining, an iconic stadium and 12 very happy players. Selection process, you know, it's um, been over the last number of uh, months just looking at players that have performed for us in the World Series. You know, obviously we play nine World Series tournaments a year um, with our contracted sevens players. During that time, we've also brought in a number of 15s players into the group. Um, so I've, I've looked at um, those players. I've also looked at players within Scottish rugby that I believe can add value to our squad. And, um, you know, we've come to the final 12 that have been selected today. The difference between 15s and 7s is, you know, 7s is known as a, you know, it's a quick game, it's a free-flowing game. There's lots of tries, there's lots of excitement, there's a lot of interaction between the crowd and the, and the players. Um, 15s, you know, is, is, is maybe a lot more attritional, even though the breakdowns are becoming a lot more important than the sevens game. Um, it's still not, you know, on the same levels as 15s. Sevens is about, you know, space and moving the ball and and one on ones and, and, and the excitement. 15s is, you know, it's a longer game. Um, and it's more, it's, you know, there's a lot more to do with tactics and, and, and playing the team. So it's going to be exciting, uh, exciting opportunity, especially for outside backs like myself. I found out I was selected on Monday evening around about 5 o'clock. I think the head coach Stevie informed me, so uh, I was absolutely delighted. It's uh, obviously been at the back of the minds for a while, and it's, uh, it's great to, to make the squad. I think the strengths of the team we've got, got a really balanced squad now. We've got a lot of pace, we've got a, a lot of physicality, we've got a couple of ball players in there as well, so I think. Um, there's, there's, the strength of the squad is that there's no weakness almost, it's a, it's a really strong strong squad across the board. I know, that, I know, I know quite a few of the boys quite well, um, I think there's only maybe one or one of them that I didn't, you know, I hadn't met previously, I think um, all the guys, have, there's quite a few of them that are involved with Glasgow, um, week in week out with the pro side, um, so I know the boys well and they always speak so fondly of the sevens and you know, enjoy it so much that you know that that enthusiasm feeds off. And even though it's my first tournament, I'm not really experienced as much. You know, I'm gathering a lot from them and and, and taking it in. And you know, if, if their faces are anything to go by, it's going to be something that's going to be amazing. Memories, mem my memories from Delhi would be frustration. It was very close at, at the end of that quarter final game against South Africa. We had a, an opportunity to score, and we ended up losing 10-7. Um, it would have been great to see if we could have got into that semi-final and. There was a lot of what ifs from Delhi, so I'm really looking to to put that to bed in Glasgow and, and try and go one step further and, and push for a medal. Expectations are to have our highest ever finish in the Commonwealth Games, and you know probably within a squad it's to medal. Um, you know we were sixth in Delhi in 2010, just missed out on a medal uh, match. So you know we're hoping to go uh, one better, uh, if not higher than that, uh, here at Ibrox. I'd love a medal. To be able to say you've got a Commonwealth medal um, would be fantastic. It's such a, a rare opportunity. It's, it's, it's like the Olympics, it's like the World Cup in rugby. It's once every four years and to be able to get selected, let alone a chance to take the field, but to come with a medal on top of that would be a dream come true. Go Scotland!